I'm actually working on another church today. And uh, I'm gonna be, uh, I got some pretty busy boxes um, that I am gonna be working in. They got some uh, handful of um, splitters in them. So what I've decided to do is just go ahead and turn my, uh, my VFL on. Um, pretty much uh, not 100% necessary. I mean, it's pretty obvious this is gonna be number four or brown um, in my green tube. So we're basically, uh, let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna turn my uh, VFL on glint, the glint setting. And uh, sorry about that. But that is going to allow us, hopefully the battery stays good. That's gonna allow us to see um, number four or brown. And that's gonna be brown in the green tube. So that's kind of how I did that was like blue, orange, green, brown. So it's green, brown. Uh, so now we'll go out in the field there and see what we can uh, make, make happen today. Uh, this church is gonna be getting a one gig DIA uh, style connection. And uh, so we're gonna land them right here onto our uh, DIA switch, a uh, one gig, uh, probably right there. So, alrighty. Well, we are out, out here doing our gig. The uh, guys are over there, melting the box and I'm about to do some pulling and shit. But uh, it's windy, God bless, it is windy. But we're coming out of uh, our pop, well, I don't think you can actually see it from here, but <clears throat> let me show you what you'd never want to happen. It's like 18 mile an hour winds today, and uh, there's a mid spin. Um, and I went ahead and I tried to get my brown out. My bundle came underneath that clip, and yeah, boy, I got a, I got a little bit of a mess, but it was really bad, and uh, I'm pretty close now. But I wanted to show you that. There's my fiber that we hooked up the VFL to. So all I got to do is get a, get this thing cleaned up, ready for a splice. I think uh, I got only got like 20 minutes before they're here, so better get get cranking. Alrighty. Well, that was a fucking nightmare. And honestly, uh, that was about the best I could get it to go back in. Um, I spent about an hour on that, so just shit's gonna live. Orange, all that is is a leg off this g bond splitter anyway. Um, I was able to get all the backbone stuff back normal. Not uh, so happy about that, but it's just kind of how life is. <clears throat> but I got my brown here, the VFL on it. We're gonna get splice these guys together. And go ahead and go across the street. Alrighty, well, I wasn't able to get on the other side there, but I am uh, going to get my optic in, and then that way I know I got a 1310, 1490, so I can test power on the other side, so um, we are using the same, uh, same optics that I always use, They're fantastic, um, they're matching the sets, and uh, it's a 1310-1490. It matches up to a 1490-1310. I always put the, um, the blue, the color-coded, uh, here in the data center. And you see they are all blues. Um, and then out in the field, I put the purple. And the only reason I started doing that is just so that, I, just so it's all the same. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get our optic in. <clears throat> we do have this little half meter. Uh, cable. flashing in my eyeballs. Alrighty. And uh, normally I'd be uh, really anal about cleaning that. 
Um, but these are 10 kilometer optics, so a little attenuation ain't gonna hurt nobody. And there you have it. Oh. Little patch there. I uh, had a bunch of those patch cables, so I figured, what the heck, why not? Um, but that will be a 500 mag circuit that we're going to be turning up tomorrow. All right, well, that's kind of kind of it for me today. I got some phone stuff to play with this afternoon, and uh, hope everybody's having a good one.